live from Las Vegas, Nevada. It's Keto Cooking. Hey, welcome back. I'm Tom, the Keto Cook. Today is Friday. That means cocktail hour. So today we're going to be making some meatballs, keto style, in a sauce that I had in the freezer. And also some egg life wraps that I cut into uh, uh, noodles. Made into a little pasta. Nice glass of vino. Let's get this party going here. Now, in my meatballs, I like to incorporate some beef and pork together. There's some fresh sauces that I had uh, ground up eh, a couple months ago. And also I have some chuck there that I have in the freezer that I thaw it out. That's about two and a half to three pound piece of chuck. Yeah, it's still frozen, but it's enough for me to work with. We thawed it out, had it in the refrigerator overnight. Now I'll cube this up. Uh, just enough to fit into my uh, choke that in my grinder and this way it makes life much easier for me now this is still cold and I also have the auger and the blade in the freezer getting nice and cold makes everything slide through much easier it doesn't gum it up now I'll cut this up as you can see I'm speeding it up a little bit just to save you some of that time of watching me not cut my fingers <laughs> now this uh, meatballs are going to be a little different because I'm doing a keto no breadcrumbs uh, I'm going to be adding some parmesan cheese to it and you'll see Now, when I mix my, my blend here, my spices that I put in there, I like to beat the egg up. That's my own pet peeve. Um, this way, I mean, it, it, it'll blend up much better. Getting a little tongue-tied here. Dig into the mixture. That is a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. That'll also help with the bind. Two cloves of garlic, minced, now this is two tablespoons of minced onion, dried minced onion that I rehydrated. And then for a little little switch here um, instead of using oregano I put some parsley in it I I should have put the oregano in it but uh, I just put the two tablespoons of uh, freshly ground parsley now here's the trick what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be using uh, drunken chef's blend of salt pepper garlic and jalapeno I normally put a couple uh, t maybe a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of hot peppers in it crushed red pepper tiny red pepper I'm going to use his blend because it's got a great blend of salt, pepper, garlic, and jalapeno. We'll give that a try, see how, how it comes out. I think it'll work out fine. Now, that is one cup of ground pork rinds. I buy it in the store. I buy it in the bags, the cheapest one I can find. Uh, I think it was two for three dollars in uh, Kroger. And I'll put that in. That'll replace breadcrumbs. Now, I'll add some wine to it, and whoa, 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 not that one. No, 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 no. There you go. That, that's the wine. That is a dry Chianti that I put in there, and I'm going to mix it up. Now, normally, I don't like to hand mix it or hand blend it. I will put it into a food processor. It blends up much better, much more evenly, plus my thumb. <laughs> hey. Like and subscribe. Hit that thumbs up. Not too hard. But uh, like and subscribe if you like what I'm doing here. Oh, pun, huh? Okay, ran it through the food processor. Now I'll take it out and I'll put it into a bowl. And I'm going to chill it off for a couple hours. And then we're going to start this process of making the meatballs. That was in the refrigerator probably for about an hour and a half to two hours. You've got it nice and cool. 
Now that's a, I believe, an ounce and a half of uh, ice cream scoop, and I'm using that to form the meatballs. Now I got the uh, a Trian woman looking on at me, sort of sneering about what I'm doing. Okay, into the pan, nonstick pan. Now this has enough fat in in the meatballs where it's not going actually not going to stick because it's a nonstick pan, but it browns it up pretty nice. Now behind that, you can see I have a sauce that I had made, uh, I would guess a couple weeks ago I made that sauce, and that's the last of it. And uh, this will work out fine. So altogether, it's probably about three and a half, maybe four pounds of meat altogether. And that'll come out to about, there was 30 meatballs, and I think after I got done testing them, I believe I had 28 left. But who's counting? Now I'm going to brown these off, and I'm going to put them into a glass casserole dish but first I'm going to add the sauce to the casserole dish and we're going to set the meatballs in that and that's going to go into an oven 350 and we're going to finish it off that way now I'm going to add some cheese to this uh, I mean you can add mozzarella cheese uh, I'm liking lately I, I freshly ground up some I uh, shredded some Monterey Jack and some sharp cheddar I'm liking that more and more. I'm going to add also some uh, Parmesan to this. Also. Okay, there you are. Now here's a little trick that I do. I, I like to put uh, film paper, you know, uh, saran wrap over the top of it first. Now what this does is this really seals in the steam and it really helps cook it a little bit faster. It makes everything a little bit more juicy. It doesn't dry anything out. is I will take tin foil and put the tin foil over the top. Now you can see that the sauce and meatballs are pretty hot on there right now. So you're starting to see a little bit of condensation on there and that's what we want. We want to make sure that that stays uh, that way. We want to make sure that no leaks. This way it'll come out nice and juicy. It won't dry out. Because just with the uh, foil wrap on there, it uh, has a tendency to dry out. Into the oven, 350 degrees. I'm gonna cook this probably for about an hour. <clears throat> okay, now I also put it on another tray. Makes it easier to handle. Okay, there it goes. Hey, like and subscribe, will you? Not like a custom thumbs up, huh? <laughs> All right, now and a half went by. Now I'll be taking this off. Be taking off the tin foil. Now this is what I'm talking about. As you can see, the condensation is still on on the plastic there. Now that's not a tear in there. That happens to be uh, uh, where I guess no condensation was. But look how juicy that is right there. The sheen that's on meatballs. That's why I like doing that method. Now, Parmesan. I'll put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on. I want to get it nice and even. Sometimes I have a tendency to miss a few spots, so we're just going to put it on that way. Thank you. Now I'll put some of this shredded cheese on top, and that's going to go back in the oven just to melt the cheese a little bit. Uh, I'm going to get this puppy done. The sauce came out absolutely delicious. Hey, chin chin. Hmm, <sighs> that was good. Like I said, back into the oven, just to melt 
melt some cheese there. Now this is not going to coat it like a Parmesan. This is actually going to fall off to the sides and into the sauce and you'll want to put the sauce over top of the meatballs when you're done. Well, there it is. That's our Friday cocktail. Egg life wraps. I slice them up into noodles, into a pan. A little garlic, salt, pepper, and a glass of vino. That's Marie's. We're going to call this baby done. Hey, listen. Thanks for stopping by. Like, subscribe. And we'll catch you next time. I'm Tom, the Keto Cook. Don't forget to like, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank you.